Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera on video. Today we are going to do a should you pull on Kuja BTFR. So Kuja is getting his FR, he's getting a little bit of a rework. Um, so he's going to be coming out in basically like I think a day after I uh, am posting this video, right? So his banner is going to have himself, Lion, and Deuce, right? So we'll start and talk about all the characters a little bit, kind of, I'll give you a little bit of feel for what they're doing. Um, I do have character guides on all these characters already, so if you want to kind of look at those videos and see what they do, especially with Lion and Deuce, they're essentially the same character. They're not getting a rework or anything here, so they're going to look pretty much identical to how they look in my character guide. Um, Kuja, I will redo his guide because he's act actually getting a little bit of a rework here, and he's getting his FR. Um, so we'll talk about that as we get to it, right? So we'll start with Deuce. Uh, Deuce is a decent support character. I would say, well, she's actually solid. She's really good. Um, she basically specializes in a lot of battery and healing, right? Um, she does work better with magic damage dealers because some of her buffs revolve around um, magic attack up and magic brave damage up. So if you are running like magic team comps, Deuce is actually a pretty good support there. She does enough support though that she's fine with physical attackers as well. The thing with Deuce is there's just so much competition for her role, right? And if you've already got like Pinello, Garnet, Luna Freya, like there's so many other top tier supports that I would rather run over Deuce. So it's not that Deuce is bad, she just has a lot of competition. Um, if you are like a brand new character and you have like no healing battery characters, sure, you could get Deuce and do a lot with her. Um, but right now, I don't know that she's the character you want to go out of your way to get, right? Uh, once again, she's not bad. She can be a good filler option, especially for like um, lockout content. Like if you need extra support characters, sure. Like you definitely could find some use for her there. But I don't think she's anybody you need to go crazy and try to get right now, right? Um, Lion... Uh, she's an interesting character. She is like a, a, a melee damage dealer. Um, and she does some interesting things in that she has a follow-up attack that dispels. So that's probably my favorite thing about Lion. Is she can do a lot of dispelling through her follow-up. And she'll get that like anytime she attacks. She also has a little bit of turn manipulation where she can position herself um, behind an ally. So that could be kind of decent as well. Um, but other than that, I mean, Lion's just a fairly generic damage dealer, right? Um, she does always carry weakness damage, and she doesn't have an element, so I guess that's another interesting thing about her. But as an LD-only character, like, typically if, like, you're bringing a character to be your damage dealer, you want it to be, like, a big-time BTFR character, right? Right now, I think Lion's role is, like, a slot 3 dispeller, and that's kind of the way I would use her. So if you're, if you're going to run Lion, I would still bring like a main DPS and then like a really good support character. And if you just need a character that's going to do some decent damage, have turn manipulation and dispelling, then yeah, you could get some use out of Lion. Lion is one of those characters that like, she's never really been top of the meta, but I've always found her very fun to play. Like I actually really enjoy using Lion. Um, and anytime that I've used her, I'm like, yeah, this character is fun. So I'm really excited for whenever she does get her FR, and I'm not sure, you can let me know in the comments if she's actually got one on JP, I don't think she has though, but if they make her like really busted with like a BTFR, I think she could be a really fun character, like I would probably full invest her if they made her really good with a BTFR, because I do like her kit and I like the way that she runs. Um, that being said though, she's not a character to go all in on, right, like you don't want to focus and try to get her right now, I don't think she's fantastic in the game right now, right? Other than like that dispelling utility, I really like that. Um, now Kuja, um, Kuja is a character, I'm gonna say right now I'm a little biased against Kuja just cause I've never really liked him. Um, I, I think his biggest asset is that he is a holy enchanter, which there aren't a ton of those in the game. And when he first, when his LD first dropped, he was known as like the nuke LD. Like he has had one of the stronger LDs in the game. Now, what's going to happen is he's getting a rework and his LD does get stronger here, which is good. Makes it competitive with other LDs in terms of straight up damage. But like, his BT, like his BT effect is pretty much just generic boss. And like with his rework, they just add, they do add like an HP damage up to it. But it's like, okay, it's just more generic buffs. It just makes it more in line with what other BTs are doing. But his BT doesn't have any like crazy mega effects that you need on it. It's just kind of generic buffs. And then his FR, it's basically dealing holy damage, right? It's dealing magic damage and dealing holy damage. So basically to use his FR, you'd either want to focus on him as the main damage dealer. And I believe if he's doing it, it's 70% up. And if it's another character that's dealing magic and holy, it's 50% up. 
so it's not like crazy insane numbers like at least dark knight cecil gets like 80 percent if you've got like the right setup um but yeah 70 and 50 that's just kind of like average right and it's not like an fr that you're going to want to use a lot um granted you can bring him with just non-elemental damage dealers and you can very easily get at least 50 percent with everybody but if you want just like a flexible fr you could just bring like lila set or aroha or something like that and get the same type of effect right so needless to say i think this is like kind of, this is probably tied with the last banner is like the easiest skip of the month like i feel like this is a super easy skip um kuja to me just isn't like crazy desirable right now in the game um like his damage like he's always known as having very good aoe damage like he, he does like double ultimas and like yeah he can put up some big numbers um but i i don't know there's just too much competition for good damage dealers his fr definitely isn't the craziest it's not an fr i'm gonna desire to use a lot his bt effect isn't anything special to write home about right and then these side characters deuce and lion like they're they're just outclassed by other characters there's always characters i'd rather use than these guys right now even though they can do some cool things um now if any of these are your favorites and you want to get them you always grab them like if you full invest these characters like you can make them work in shinryu fights um that's the one thing i've always liked about depot like every character can be good if you want to build them and and team build properly you can make any character work but yeah to me this is just a very easy skip very easy save the other reason why you really want to save is we've got a community stream coming up i believe on monday and um not i'm not expecting any surprises but there could be a surprise right like there's always that idea that yeah there could be something right you never know um so just in case they announce like a global first or something or something crazy hype next month you just might want to have some resources ready um my plan is is i am going to do so after the community stream so probably monday night i will record my community stream reaction and then my poll plan video and I, I combine that in the one video i've been doing that the last few months i feel like that works pretty well because then i can look through the side and say yeah this is what's coming this month and here's what i'm going to pull for here's what i'm not going to pull for here's my recommendations so look for that video coming up on monday um and then i'll also get a bt token guide out i might actually do the bt token guide early because i i feel like there's not going to be any surprises so i might just record my bt token guide and say hey just keep in mind the community stream hasn't happened yet so maybe what i'll do is i'll put up my bt token guide like tomorrow and then um and then monday we'll have the poll planning video that way there's like a nice spread of some default content right so anyways guys you can let me know if you're gonna pull for kuja or not like don't feel bad like if you like kuja like it's like dark knight cecil right like you use him right you build around him he can put up some nice numbers he can be a good damage dealer it's just he's not my type of character and i've never really liked him that much in the game so uh, and he's not like doing anything groundbreaking right so I, i'm saying this is probably a skip um i will probably skip if i put anything on it it's just because i'm capped on tickets and i kind of just want to pull for fun but i think even at that i'm not going to right so anyways guys let me know what you think of this guy thanks for watching we'll catch you all on the next one